Yes, you shall, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel with more Gran Turismo 7. Now, today, guys, this is another tuning guide for Gran Turismo 7. And seeing as I've just picked up the Subaru Impreza Coupe WRX Type R STI version VI from 1999 with an EJ20 Impreza engine in it, weighing in at 982 kg, which is astonishing, we're going to be doing a tuning guide on torque vectoring centre differential tuning and handling setup guide for all wheel drive cars now in this video guys i won't be going in depth into each setting and what they do as that should be a point of understanding by learning that if you wish yourselves but what i will be doing is showing my handling setup alongside the torque vectoring tuning setup that you should be using when seriously tuning your all wheel drive cars for true grip and fast lap times in gran turismo 7 if a car's only um straight um, sorry guys, if a car's only fast in a straight line, then you're just not tuning your cars correctly. So I hope this quick and easy setup you can use helps in tuning your all-wheel drive cars in Gran Turismo 7 to get the best out of your tuning upgrades and the best out of your tunes. Um, you can also edit this setup when your experience in tuning improves by learning your driving strengths and points to improve on too. As with my previous videos on Gran Turismo 7, I'm a guy to tuning in Gran Turismo 7 to obtain maximum potential for handling fully customizable suspension is required with my suspension setup so go check that video out increase the body rigidity after full weight reduction is completed on the car and then you should be good to go so what i'm going to do with this guys if you've had a look at my settings feel free to go back over that and pause that but i believe that these are the best settings for all-wheel drive cars with the torque vectoring center differential for tuning handling grip and fast lap times throughout and um, if you're enjoying the videos guys smash the like button smash the subscribe button feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below on what you think to the video what you think of the um, advice that I give you in this video um, if you want to see an in-depth comprehensive tuning guide on Gran Turismo 7 where I compress all of the smaller videos into one bite-sized chunk for you guys let me know in the comment section down below um, a big shout out to all the subscribers who have subscribed over the last few weeks thank you so much your, your support is appreciated so much and um, I'm just glad I can make content for you guys that you enjoy watching. Um, stay tuned for more Gran Turismo 7 videos. We've got another Subaru build video coming up. We've got the Wangan Devil Z, Fair Lady Z build video coming up. So stay tuned for that. Um, if there's any builds or any help with Gran Turismo 7, tune in advice or tips that you need to know or you want help with or you'd like a video making on, um, drop that in the comment section down below I do reply back to every comment as soon as I've seen them don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to get notifications on all the new videos as soon as I hit the channel and um, we're going to be upgrading the channel slightly soon so stay tuned for um, some shift club uh, live streaming events that I'm hoping to be able to open up to you guys the viewers so you'll be able to jump into them lobbies and partake in videos that I'll be putting up on the channel um, and other than that guys I'm going to demonstrate on the Tokyo Expressway with the first lap of a PP500 race just to show you how the actual handling and this tuning setup for Gran Turismo 7 with the torque vectoring centre differential tuning and handling setup for all wheel drive cars improves your lap times and you'll feel the overall response from adding this part as well um, as with this build as you've noticed with update 1.11 we've had like a new setting added for the anti-lag system so it can be switched off it can be set to weak it can be set to strong so on this build if you haven't noticed you want to go back i've got the anti-lag system set to weak um, i'm going to be doing a fully comprehensive um video on the anti-lag um as i presume it's it's gonna work like a boost controller maybe 
I suppose, but I still think we should have a boost controller um, setting in actual Gran Turismo 7. And stay tuned for some more Forza Horizon 5 content. I nearly forgot about that as well, guys. Um, after this first lap as well, there is the replay, just so you can get a better view of the overall suspension setup and just how the car handles around each corner with the torque vectoring center differential tuning guide that I'm giving you guys here. Feel free to use this as a base tuning setup for all all all-wheel drive cars i've been waiting to get my hands on this subaru um to bring you guys this video so i'm sorry for the delay on that and other than that guys um yeah stay tuned for more gran turismo 7 uh, maybe tuning guide videos depending on if you get any parts or engines but i doubt it stay tuned for just more build videos on gran turismo 7 more build videos on forza horizon 5 news hints tips helpful advice until next time stay safe happy racing peace Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you